people should enjoy bourbon any damn way they want to. I mean, you know, if you want to mix it with Coke, that's fine. If you want to mix it with water, ice. Uh, and I kind of got that from my dad. You know, there's no set rules for enjoying a bourbon. Some people like it neat. Some people like a splash of soda in it. Cocktails, the Manhattans, the old fashions. It's whatever you like. You know, there's no rule that says you have to drink it a certain way. The hell, you can drink it right out of the bottle if you want to. I mean, that's the thing about bourbon. I mean, the Scotch guys have so many rules on how to do Scotch. I think us bourbon guys, we don't like rules, so we do it any way you want to drink it. It's your, it's your fucking call on that. We taste it about the same way, I would yeah, guess so. Yeah, yeah. We agree a lot on what we taste. Uh, we don't vary very much. If I say it's good, Craig agrees with me that it's good when we select barrels and vice versa. And I usually agree with his taste. Something that I guess we, you know, didn't intend to pass down, but that's sort of in the genes of what we, our taste buds are very, very similar. Yeah, I could have been messed up and tried my own Coke or something. is up YouTube. As you can see, I'm going to start my bourbon reviews over again. And uh, to start them off, I'm going to start comparing a couple different bourbons with like a 10 year versus 12 year, etc, etc. Today I'm going to start off with Elijah Craig 18 year verse Elijah Craig 12 year and uh, I'm gonna base my results on not only the smell the taste but the price this 12 year is a lot cheaper than the 18 year so that's gonna weigh heavily in my decisions getting prepared for a, a possible blizzard they're saying anywhere we're supposed to get anywhere from Maybe a couple inches to a couple feet. They don't know yet. Anyway, this is a Wednesday evening. I'm doing this video, and it's supposed to be coming this weekend. So we'll see. Smoking my Mark Bulkovic Pug Ring of Fire. It was the only one he ever made. There's a couple out there now, but this was the first. And I think this might be the only... The actual style and color, I'm not sure, but smoking some black house. And I've had both of these before, but I've never done this test like this side by side before. This one, the 18 year, is 90 proof. And usually I like drinking my bourbons either uh, straight, I like sipping them straight, or with a little bit of ice. Like I said before, I like mixing it with Coke. But when I'm going to get a pure test and uh, tell the bourbons I drink them straight. Like I said, the 18 year is a lot more than a 12 year.
right off the bat, the 12 year smells stronger than the 18. And uh, it's 94 proof, so it's not a whole lot more, but it is more. Wow. I doubt you'd be able to see that on the camera. But the leg, I doubt you're going to be able to see that, if you can pick that up or not. But the leg is what they say with the alcohol content, how it runs down the glass. And like I said before, unfortunately in the bourbon world, there are a lot of snobs. And I noticed that too with cigar smokers. There are a lot of snobs. I guarantee you I'm going to get thumbs down on these videos I do. Uh, people are set in their ways. Some people drink their bourbon straight. Other people believe you got to mix with water. Others got to have Coke, got to have soda, ginger ale. Other ones, you got to have it on the rocks. Got to have it with a uh, cold, you know, cold rock or stone. Or you, you drink it, you bought it, you drink it how you want. You paid for it, it's your bourbon. Enjoy it. Now, just off the bat, like I said before, I'm a no expert, and uh, I shouldn't be even smoking while I'm doing this taste taste test, but I'm going to anyway. But I usually like to sample my bourbons without, for the first time at least, without anything. Now, to me, the 18-year-old smells a lot sweeter than the 12. Let's see here. The 18-year-old single barrel says on the back, aged for 18 years, it's a single charred oak barrel. It offers the rare opportunity, the rare opportunity to enjoy the hearty, full-flavored body flavor of Kentucky Classic. 18-year-old, 90 proof. Barreled on November 20th, 1990. Barrel number 3,520. And of course, this one, like I said, is the 12 year small batch. I'm definitely picking up more of a sweet, subtle, mapley brown sugar, little bit of spice taste with the uh, smell with the uh, 18 year. And the 12 year smells a lot more uh, spicier right off the bat. So. I'm going to go ahead and do a test with the 12-year uh, first. And when you're sa sampling something also to drink bourbon, you don't have to chug a whole ounce or two at once. I mean, you're sipping it. You're enjoying it. You're, you're trying to pick an acquired taste for it, a flavor. A lot of it has to do with smelling. They, they say 99% of what you taste is what you're going to smell. Okay, of the 12 year, right off the bat, it's not a very long finish. And it's really easy to, to sip, actually. I know there's been a ton of people on the forums, especially on Instagram and on Skype, asking me all these questions. And like I said, I'm no expert. I just love my bourbon. Uh, the 12 year, I believe I paid under 40 bucks, I'm guessing, for. Under 50 for sure. Well, now the finish is starting to get a little longer. But it was pretty much one-dimensional. I got the little bit initial burn at first, how you get with the sampling, sampling something straight bourbon like that. But it is starting to be a long finish. Uh, picking up mainly just spices, and I picked up a lot of corn taste in that. Uh, I didn't really pick up much of nothing else. Let me give this one another go. Well, now, matter of fact, I'll try that. I'll try it now with just a tad bit of water and see if I get any difference. And then people are going to say, "Oh, you should have used distilled water. You should have did this. You do it how you want." Okay, no, I didn't like the water adding to that. That the, the 12 year is something you would just drink straight, in my opinion. Uh, 
the water did definitely didn't do it any good. Okay, let's try the 18 year. Now, if, if my calculation and my tasting's right, I'm, I know I like the 18 better, but we'll see. I'm almost picking up like a uh, burnt brown sugar. Oh, definitely. The 18 year, I'm getting the burn. The 18 year is so much smoother. Long finish. I'm picking up like a lot of kitchen sp baking spices, uh, brown sugar, kind of like almost like maple syrup. I wish you could see the leg on that. I don't know if you can see that or not. Can you see that leg? There it is. See that leg going down, how much that's staying on there? Wow. And as far as the colors, well, I already put water in that one. Very easy to drink the 18 too. Very, very enjoyable to, to sip. These are usually two. I've had them both before. I just opened this new bottle of 12 year here. To be honest, the 12 I usually m would mix with Coke. But uh, I believe it was the first time, except for the first time I've tried it, actually sipping it straight like that. I do like the 12 and I like the price point better on the 12. But the 18, if you can find it and you can afford it in your area, I definitely recommend the 18 over the 12. I'm almost picking up a little bit of cinnamon also, if that sounds... <laughs> I, I know I'm going with cinnamon, I'm getting uh, spices, but I'm still getting that sweet taste with it also. So, uh, like I said before, I'm no expert at this. I'm just going to give you my honest opinions. Both of them are really good bourbons. And, uh, like I said, I'm going to do this with uh, Jim Beam's 8-year versus 12-year or 4-year. I'll do Pappy Van Winkle 12-year with Pappy Van Winkle 15 or 20-year. I'm going to do George T. Stagg. Junior with the big brother, George T. Stagg. I'll do, uh, I don't know what other ones. I'll do uh, Jefferson's Ocean Aged versus Jefferson Reserve. I'll do uh, different orphan barrels against each other. So uh, if you're in, into bourbons and you just want some opinions to go with, check me out. Like I said, I had a bunch of these already done and I lost them all, so I'm starting over again. So I hope it helps some of you guys out or girls out. But like I said, I highly recommend both of these. So this is my first one. Stay tuned for another one coming soon. Talk to you boys and girls later.